Chemical energy is the energy of chemical substances that is released when they undergo a chemical reaction and transform into other substances. Some examples of storage media of chemical energy include batteries, food, and gasoline. Breaking and making chemical bonds involves energy, which may be either absorbed by or evolved from a chemical system. Energy that can be released or absorbed because of a reaction between chemical substances is equal to the difference between the energy content of the products and the reactants, if the initial and final temperature is the same. This change in energy can be estimated from the bond energies of the reactants and products. It can also be calculated from the internal energy of formation of the reactant molecules and the internal energy of formation of the product molecules. The internal energy change of a chemical process is equal to the heat exchange if it is measured under conditions of constant volume and equal initial and final temperature, as in a closed container such as a bomb calorimeter. However, under conditions of constant pressure, as in reactions and vessels open to the atmosphere, the measured heat change is not always equal to the internal energy change, because pressure volume work also releases or absorbs energy. A related term is the heat of combustion, which is the energy released due to a combustion reaction and often applied in the study of fuels. Food is similar to hydrocarbon and carbohydrate fuels, and when it is oxidized to carbon dioxide and water, the energy release is analogous to the heat of combustion. Chemical potential energy is a form of potential energy related to the structural arrangement of atoms or molecules. This arrangement may be the result of chemical bonds. Chemical energy of chemical substances can be transformed to other forms of energy by a chemical reaction. For example, when a fuel is burned, the chemical energy is converted to heat. Green plants transform solar energy to chemical energy through the process of photosynthesis, and electrical energy can be converted to chemical energy and vice versa through electrochemical reactions. The similar term chemical potential is used to indicate the potential of a substance to undergo a change of configuration, be it in the form of a chemical reaction, spatial transport, particle exchange with a reservoir, etc. It is not a form of potential energy itself, but is more closely related to free energy. The confusion in terminology arises from the fact that in other areas of physics not dominated by entropy, all potential energy is available to do useful work and drives the system to spontaneously undergo changes of configuration, and thus there is no distinction between free and non-free potential energy. However, in systems of large entropy such as chemical systems, the total amount of energy present of which this chemical potential energy is a part, is separated from the amount of that energy thermodynamic free energy which drive the system forward spontaneously as the global entropy increases.